Hi friends, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. This is Vijay this side and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel and uh, today we are going to um, see some uh, interesting uh, topic. It's about uh, hub and spoke model. Actually I thought to um, put a video on uh, cloud adaption framework and uh, further to that landing zones and uh, I thought I can uh, put some video series a uh, couple of video series on these topics and while creating those videos I felt um, first we can go ahead and uh, explain about uh, some sample hub and spoke model I can uh, relate those landing zone configuration with the hub and spoke model that help us to set expectation how the landing zone is going to look like and how easy it is to manage those zone uh, along with the existing subscription models so let's begin hub is like a centralized component uh, which uh, manage uh, traffic uh, between uh, on-prem to cloud and uh, from spoke to on-prem connectivity or spoke to any other external world uh, hub uh, manages both ingress and uh, egress traffic and which uh, helps us to uh, manage all the common services which uh, spoke can consume here I have given a scenario for uh, uh, multiple spoke uh, for example uh, spoke 1 it's uh, like a dev environment and uh, spoke 2 is nothing but like a, a pre-production environment and uh, spoke 3 is like a production environment and spoke 4 is nothing but a, a sandbox environment and spoke 5 is like an identity environment and hub is always like a connectivity subscription each uh, uh, services has their own IP series example hub, hub take a scenario for hub it's 10.1.0.0 slash 18 and spoke 1 is 10.2.0.0 slash 16 similarly for uh, spoke 2 spoke 3 and spoke 4 and spoke 5 we have uh, uh, different different IP series and we don't see any conflict over there so once we define a proper IP series, you can have a uh, separate VPA, VNet pairing um, to the hub and spoke so that uh, you can uh, consume the common services in the hub and spoke model and also like uh, each spoke can send and receive a traffic uh, to on-prem via hub actually and uh, uh, firewall with the help of firewall we may can inspect the traffic what it goes in and out and uh, there is a security layer in on-prem as well which can also help us to um, assess the packet uh, what's going in and out and uh, this is how uh, the hub and spoke model is looks like hub I will have a separate connectivity to on-prem environment via express route or VPN so that on-prem can connect to hub or spoke via those express route or uh, VPN connectivity and uh, external users can use a VPN connection uh, to hub via uh, point to site VPN where in the gateway if we avail the respective services uh, to have a point to site configuration uh, those configuration can be shared to the end users so they can uh, directly connect to hub uh, by using the point to site VPN via internet actually and uh, this is how like a sample hub and spoke model looks like I have created another uh, hub and spoke model uh, with the uh, subscription naming which uh, matches uh, similar to the landing zone um, design documents so with that uh, diagram I am planning to compare that uh, configuration how this hub and spoke model is really fitting in the uh, landing zone I have created a, a sample uh, landing zone structure uh, for our hub and spoke model uh, this is to explain how our hub and spoke model fit inside this uh, basic uh, sample uh, landing zone configuration example uh, if you go on through from the top to bottom uh, how the tenant structure is how the tenant uh, management group is and below that we have four management group that is platform application and uh, decommissioning and uh, sandbox within the platform we have uh, three more uh, management groups one is uh, connectivity and one is management and is identity so in identity we have identity subscription where we can host our uh, uh, identity related services like dc in that subscription management uh, it's like log analytics dax dashboard uh, other uh, um, bastion component we can host 
and in connectivity it's like a hub so hub is nothing but uh, you know very well now so you can have a firewall uh, and other uh, uh, common services which can help uh, spoken on from to be uh, connected to each other and uh, second is this side in application we have uh, three applications i have taken so in one application we have a uh, dev test environment and uh, uh, prod environment and uh, another in app two we have only a non prod environment subscription so and decommission uh, i think um, there is one subscription is marked for decommission maybe like if a project is has been completed uh, so if you want to delete a subscription and if you are doing any poc out of subscription those subscription can be moved as a decommission subscription and uh, there is another subscription called uh, sandbox which is comes under uh, sandbox management group so this is how the hub and spoke model can be transformed as a uh, uh, in the management group structure and each management group we can assign a blueprints with a set of configurations and uh, do we need to assign any policy like allowed location if any resource example if you want to deploy any resources uh, particularly it has to be in um, uh, east us you can assign a policy allowed location as east us and the rest of the location will be blocked and by the policy and any specific role based access control has to be assigned and you can create a custom roles and um, assign a permission at the management group so that uh, we can manage the permission in which in centralized way this is a sample management group uh, which is related to a hub and spoke model i hope this explains a bit uh, more uh, like how the uh, tenant structure and how the subscription alignment is uh, happening in the uh, landing zone so it's just a sample uh, we'll see in more detail in upcoming videos i have also uh, given a split screen comparison um, to show uh, how the sample uh, uh, hub and spoke model is uh, fitting inside the uh, sample uh, landing zone configurations uh, this will give you some clear insights how the uh, landing zone configurations are being made uh, with respect to a design component and there is a lot of factors are there in designing landing zone but that uh, configuration will be uh, we can discuss a bit later on that but this is just to explain uh, how uh, the hub and spoke model this sample hub and spoke model are uh, transformed into a sample landing zone uh, configuration it's not a fully a uh, landing zone page but still it's like a basic uh, landing zone configuration i have taken a few screenshots from microsoft documentation uh, to explain the landing zone structure and i have placed that image as well here um, and uh, if you can compare now uh, based on understanding what we discussed uh, till now if you can compare those configurations uh, with the microsoft landing zone uh, uh, design documents i think uh, you can get to uh, some conclusion how it is connected and uh, this is how the overall uh, uh, landing zone configuration which is in the microsoft documentation uh, go through the documentation and uh, compare uh, uh, with the sample uh, file that we have in this video uh, with the actual landing page uh, configuration in the Microsoft documents. I think you can, it, that will be a good starting point uh, for you guys to understand a bit more and uh, uh, to start. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, any queries, feel free to uh, put it on comment and uh, if there is any issues or uh, if we need more insights uh, happy to assist on those subscribe this channel for more videos thank you